Okay then. Let's go. Shalom. Yeah, man. My eight, my eight sixes from the brothers, man. Give me them. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Crazy to you. How about Shalom? Give me Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 1. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 1. Teaching from the brothers, standing bold. And it reads, I waited patiently for Yahweh, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, yeah. out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock yeah. and established my going. All right, so yeah, man, the Most High, what he's done, he's took us out of the, the damn mindset of this world, That's out right. of that gangster mentality. All right, but we're still in the ghettos. All right, we're still in the same Babylon and the same by, by the rivers of Babylon, man. We're still sitting down here. We still don't want to sing the Mosai song in these strange lands. Man. So when we were talking to the sisters earlier on, all right, they was like, oh, we're saved, we're saved. What are we saved from when we got damn devil, damn Timmy, damn Harry Potter, the blonde one, slavery. We got damn Gryffindor and Slytherin right in front of our face, man. The dogs, out. the dogs are compassed us round about, about, man. That's right, that's right. All right. We're not out of this captivity. We're still here, sister, from one side to the other side. We're still around the, we're still around the, around the dogs, man. All right. So yeah, man, no, no, keep reading, no. bro. Yeah, cause Verse oh, three, man. and he have put a new song in that? my mouth, huh? even so, praise you unto Yahweh. And he has put a new song in our mouth, even praises unto Yahweh. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in Yahweh. All right, so many's going to see the Most High's work and they're fearful. When they see us out here pushing this work, give me a wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 1. First one on the road, yeah? So I she goes way, way, way back. Remember that. Wisdom of Solomon 5 yeah. and 1. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him yeah, and made no account of his labor. Yeah, man, they don't make account for our labor, man. We're standing bold and they're scared, man. They're shook, man. Because why? The Most High has put us on a rock. And that rock is the Messiah, man. The Messiah is out here, all right, with this word, man. Khan, that's all right, King. Right? The Messiah ain't dead, man. Messiah is living, he's a living, breathing word and he's coming and manifesting into us. That's why we say all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shem. That's right. All right. Thanks to all. We give thanks to all, man. Go to um, Psalms, go to verse uh, 14, 40 and 14. 40 and 14. Sister, we always see you in modest apparel and looking humble. And Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, sister. Sister's always modest and in apparel, man. This is the book of Psalms 40 and verse 14. 14. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. And that's what we have to say, man, in our prayers, is that you've got to say, yo, man, the ones that seek after our soul, let them be ashamed. That's right. That's what the damn Christian man was saying, man. Oh, forgive and forget. Yeah. Bro, look, the Most High says, remember Esau for what they've done. That's right. For three transgressions, even for four, he shall not turn away the punishment of these evils, man. That's right. So let them be ashamed. Read that again. Uh. Verse 14. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. And that's what they do. They seek after our soul. Sister, you know that. That there's wicked, there's spiritual demons in high places that seek after our soul. That's right. And why do they want to do that? Because he calls us chosen. Right. So how do they seek after our soul? By making sure we don't keep the most high That's right. And the Lord. That's right. They make the, the rainbow and they turn it into some abomination. Are you Christian or Muslim? All right, look, for instance, here, yeah, look, is that the Nasayas? As soon as we're talking about it, they turn the most high rainbow into some weird old Sodomite. So one denomination, our denomination, no, we have to judge this stuff. The whole point of it is that Did you want to mean? There's no empathy, man. There's no there's no there's no sympathy, sister. That's not what it's written. Give me Isaiah 48. Because we're gonna we're gonna show you our purpose. Isaiah 48. 
And what souls do we want to see receive? What souls do we want? Who is destroying our soul? That is destroying our soul. Seeing that thing. So we, we, we're not seeking that soul. Well, it's not. Well, give me Hebrews chapter 12 and 16. Hebrews 12 and 16. Sister, let's read you this. Let's read you this. Hebrews 12 and 16. Sister, don't worry. Don't worry. Keep on that book. Hebrews 12 and 16. This read it, read it. is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Bring it out. Let's them. Lest there be up, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, the Edomites. There's a general genealogy of the Jews, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Jews are the Edomites. They're profane. Go on. Who for one morsel of meat sold, sold their birthright. birthright. So for one morsel of meat, they sold their covenant, they sold their birthright. So for ye know how that afterwards. When he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. So look, there's no repentance. There's no I trying to seek souls. Sister, you're trying to say, look, sister, hear this. Sister, you listening? You're trying to say we need to seek their soul and be more humble and preaching to them. But there's no repentance for them. So why preach to somebody that the most high says there's no repentance for them? Sister. Sister, are you listening to the Bible or are you listening to your own words? No. But a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another. And who are the commandments for? So the love you have Sister, the commandments ain't for the Remember the Moses. Okay, old child. Sister. You An overdrive. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I love what you guys are doing. I stop because I love what you do. I'm just saying, in life, if you come to me, if you come to me and say you're wrong, you're wrong, I won't do it. But if you say my case, so we're, we're trying to, we're actually trying to start. Sister, but, um, I, look, look, look. I, I, I at the moment, I ain't going to Bring it out, bring it out, man. Because this is mad. Give me, uh, give me Matthew chapter okay, 14 and verse 19. Can I ask you a question? This is the book of Matthew. Matthew's 10 and 14. Oh, sorry, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? We're trying to start the school. Hey, bro, I see you got the Lion of Judah there, bro. Yes, sir. You can't start the school. Take care, God bless you. Please, Yes. Sister, you're an Israelite, you need to come on. Yes, 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 okay. yes, 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 the only reason oh, we're talking about the truth is scary. Oh. These guys are scary. Yeah, they're Babylon. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, the Come on, they have some authority. Wait, wait, wait. 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 This vine of Israel. Yeah, but I'm attracting vineyards. Yeah, that, that's the vineyards is like Imam. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Can I ask a question? So you got a website? So we're on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people, a lot of people may complain about being bored and nothing. Look, come in, don't they? They come in, don't they? They come in, quick time, bro. They come in, quick time. Anyway, look, anyway, look. We got, look, look, anyway, look. We can say what we're going to say, right? And what, what are we going to, is it a crime? It's like, it's something. You can email us. People are killing each other and email us. How can we not say what we want to say? Is there not freedom of speech? If you don't like it, then don't come at the house. He's saying your son. Cool, because we come, we, we come for our nation. So we have to do it to them. We will teach just the men. That's why. No, 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 no. What is it, right? What is right? There is the KKK in the world, right? And who are them? What are you upset because you guys were the Caucasians were KKK? The whole place. Okay, you know I mean, so right? You wanted to live up to, so what? Don't, don't be upset about it. You should be proud of your ancestors. And you want to find us where we're always in seven. You're not proud about it. All right. Well, then there you go. Well, then there's nothing to be worried about. Just tell him it's the truth. You know what I mean? I'm just not like. That's what you should tell him. You want to get you I mean, you should tell him, look, they were KKK in the world. They're allowed to be upset. Look at their, their, their ancestors, what they've gone through. You know what I'm saying? Just on me. Leave them alone. Let them run and let them scream. Why are you coming up to us saying that we call people KKK? Can I ask a question? Look, if he said... If he called us a nigger and we rang you, would you be here that quick? I don't know about that. Yet. So anyway, look. I don't know about that. Anyway, look. So don't be my absolute. If any questions, please. You know what? You know what? It's okay. Look. 
Oh, yo, 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 big man, do you mind? But I'm trying to, all we're doing is telling our people to not be in gangs, not yeah. be in selling that's drugs, that's right. women stop being whores. You know what I mean? We're trying to no, tell no, no. the young children Sorry. not to sleep. Boys don't sleep with boys and girls don't sleep with girls. We're trying to say righteous things according to the Bible. That's right. right? And if they're not going according to this word, which you swore an oath to put your hand upon under the Church of England, under the Queen, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then I don't understand well, why you're taking us from West Africa to come into look, England under coming, slavery, man. under Jesus, and now we can't preach Jesus, man. But then let us be then, please. Let us be, please. Get some more so forget that guy, man. We're being the word of God. We're speaking. There's enough, there should be more righteousness in the world, man. There's so much wickedness and destruction and people killing one another and what you praying. Whatever, leave him. Let him to jog on because they're preaching the word. That's it. Allow us, please. Give me, uh, give me Acts chapter five. You are familiar with what these people do. You've seen, seen us many times. Well, then this is good. You've seen us today. This is the book of Acts five and verse thirty-nine. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. So look, what this is. So if someone comes here and says, Just read, just read, bro. Go on. But if it be of God, he cannot overthrow it. So what it is, the Bible is it can never be overthrown by man. Because what is this is this is the biblical prophets. This is the prophets of Isaiah, Jeremiah, Moses, Musa. This is the law, man. This is the law. Yeah, it cannot be overthrown. No, 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 this is talking right now. He cannot overthrow it, lest happily he be found even to fight against God. So you're actually fighting. Listen, you're actually. The Bible's talking right now. You're actually fighting against God if you come against the word. Go, go to the last verse. Bro. Not you, not you, not you. That, that Harry Potter guy. Verse 42, and daily in the temple and in every house they... No, no, go to verse 41. Verse 41, and they departed from the presence of the council. So look, as soon as they come to try and persecute us, when we depart out of the hands of the, hands of the police or the hands of this world, right? Of anyone that wants to persecute righteousness, right? Go on. Rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame we for are, his name. We're actually rejoicing that there's wicked people that are against the Bible and we are counted worthy as being righteous. You understand? Because what it is, when we're teaching the word, you know people don't even want to know us, right? They just walk by us. But as soon as they see you guys, they all come, they flood because they, these people, they don't like the poor, they don't like the Bible, they like drama, man. You create drama, yeah, you guys, man. When we read the Bible, they walk by, man. All these guys, man. Right. But when you guys come, they love it. Bro, all you guys are. These are fighting. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're not listening. Hey, listen, I don't care about sovereignty. I'm saying, read that, read that, read that. As soon as you guys come, you drink drama, man. I know what I'm talking about. Read it. Five and verse 41. Jump on them. And they departed from the And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for him. His name. All right, we want to yes. suffer shame yes. for yes. his name. All right? right, we'll suffer the shame for his name. Go on, read, bro. That's right. Verse 42. And daily in the temple, and in every, and daily in the temple, and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach. They cease not to teach. And, and preach, preach. Yeah, how try, how much so look, as soon as they try to say, oh, what are you doing? What are you really saying? We're not going to stop teaching. We're not going to stop saying the word. We're always going to be reading this Bible. All right? Yeah, no, what it is, there's one speaker, and then I'm trying to speak. So what are we doing in order? We're doing decency in order. Yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah, you're a Turkish. All right. Yeah. issues before the do we just got someone that like, like the These people call me Harry Potter. Yeah, we, we look like Harry Potter. We couldn't say that. That's not illegal to say that. You don't give a damn about these people. It's not illegal to say you look like Harry Potter, man. Show us the law and the act saying I can't call people Harry Potter. Man. Don't, don't come up here and dismiss this, man. I can call anyone Harry Potter, man. 
I'll come calling you, what's that guy? You know that Austin Powers guy? He looks like the guy from Austin Powers, man. What's that guy from Austin Powers, man? Mike Myers. He looks like Mike Myers, this guy, man. He looks like, he looks like, um, remember Adam's family, what's his name? Uh, Uncle Fester. Uh, uh, he looks like Uncle Fester, man. What are you going to say, man? You can't tell us a damn thing, man. We're allowed to say what we want to say, man. And you're just straight in drama on the streets, man. Yeah. That's what happens when the police come along. That's give me, right. give me Revelations one and seven for the police. Oh, this is Revelations chapter one and verse seven. Bring it out. And you're here. See, as soon as the police go, everyone's gonna look pan the camera, bro. As soon as the police go, behold, everyone goes, blood. He will come yeah, with clouds. Everyone will, will come and with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And what? And, and every eye shall see him. him. The Messiah is coming, and he's coming better than all these gangsters, blood. Coming better than road, man. He's coming with the damn with the chariots, man. And they all right. which also pierced him. So you see how they got their BMWs and their Mercedes? When you see the Messiah pull up, he's pulling up with chariots, man. That's right! You call uh, UFOs, man. And when he comes up, every eye is gonna see the Messiah. That's right. So, even every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And they what? And they, they also pierce that which pierced him. They which pierced him. And they also which pierced him. And they also which pierced him. And the Romans are the ones that persecuted the Messiah and pierced him. You see that? So the modern day Romans oh, are the guys. police officers, That's man. Right. So the police officers are gonna get a rude awakening, man. And all the kingdoms of the earth shall well because of him. They're gonna laugh right. and sing and dance. Shall, shall well, well because, because of him. him. Everyone's gonna get down with the program, man. That's right. right. Run. If you don't get down, you're gonna bow down That's and right. you're gonna kiss the feet of the Messiah, man. Come. That's right. For I am a Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, exactly. saith the Lord. Exactly, and that's it, man. That's it. Let's get um, Revelation chapter 19. All right? Revelation 19 and 11. This is Revelation chapter 19 yeah. and verse 11. Wait, 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 start at 10. Start at 10. You have questions? Verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. All right, you're going to... And he said unto me... Go on. See thou do not. See, see not I am what? a follow, follow servant of my brethren. So the Messiah is going to come. Everyone's going to get down with the program and get to his feet. And he's going to be like, nah, don't do this. Because there's no Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He knows that the Heavenly Father, he's the one that needs to be bowed down to. Man. All right, read. That have the testimony of Jesus. All right. Worship of God. To the testimony of Jesus' spirit of prophecy. The testimony, all right, of the prophecies, that is what you need to come out here with. That's We're right. We're not being talking and singing and handing out flyers, man. That's right. That is not what the Messiah wants you to do. He wants you to read the prophecies. The prophecies is there's going to be gross darkness upon the world. That's right. Right now, what you're seeing is whores running up and down on the streets. That's right. You're seeing gangsters shooting each other. Hurting each other. Teach right. King. You're seeing all the damn drug dealers and the damn grime, the, the drill artists getting stabbed up and killed. Teach Every King. week there's a new drill artist getting stabbed and killed in the streets, man. So we're out here to tell our brothers and our sisters to stop being like that. Fix your ways. We're telling our people that the Messiah is coming. Repent or die. Man. That's right. Give me Le 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 Leviticus, uh, Luke chapter 13 and 3. Take all the pictures you want, sister. We're here for you, sister. All right? We have to tell our people to repent or die. Verse 11. And sometimes it might seem a bit harsh. It might seem a bit rough. But our people, they're not going to hear the sweet and lovely dubby thing. Because they're going to think, come as you are. We have to show them the rebuke. They don't what? Because the truth. Give me um, uh, Galatians. Infested by the abomination. Tom! Exactly. And the tongue that is the serpent that twists everything upside down. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, yes, but right. the truth has to be told and set us free. Exactly. And it will set us free. All right, let's it read it. Let's read it. Our our freedom. Freedom. Uh, 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 this uh, is the book of Luke, chapter 13, and verse 3. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but except ye repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Uh, if you don't repent, if you don't find out what you're doing wrong, then you're going to perish. Um. We need to find out what the Most High requires of us. He requires of us to keep his laws, his commandments. But the pastor, man, 
wants you to put an offering on the damn collection plate. That's so right. So he can wear the Louis Vuittons for church. No, Mikey. It's madness. Our people are not learning what's going on. Yeah, you're an Israelite too, You're an Israelite as well. Hmm? You see? You see? Yeah, I know, I know. You see in the Bible, right? You see in the Bible, right? You see the Bible, right? We don't know who we are anymore. Because what it is, we've been put into captivity. And now they're on our soldiers, or our fathers. They're not teaching us anything. No. They're not showing us the past. 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 No, no, it wasn't because nice you know. your name goes with it. Have you never heard of that? Birdman says, what's some respect for my name? Because why your name goes with it? You know, your name, your name yes, is your shield. Mean, so your name goes with it. We're not Christians either. I don't need it. God is not about you. God is about you. It's not about being Christian. It's about understanding. Who right? you are. Yeah, man. You know, so yeah, the same thing we're going to say to you, the, the sister's sister, yeah? What's your nationality? Where do you come from? What's your nationality? I come from Africa. What's your biblical nationality? Africa's not in here. What's your biblical nationality? No, but where is that? Where is that? If you're born of God, where is that? Show me the verse where it says that. Give me Exodus chapter 4. And verse 22 because I haven't excellent. read that I've never read that before what you're saying is you're saying your own heart like I'm saying in my own yeah but that's rubbish the Bible is the truth this the, is Exodus chapter everyone, look, everyone's got their own heart if I start saying my own heart is my heart going to be above your heart is your heart above my heart no the Bible is above them both so let's find out if the child of God and you this child give me um, uh, uh, Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6 this right. is Exodus chapter 2 Exodus chapter 4 and verse 2 22. Uh, verse 22 and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh thus saith the Lord Israel is my son even my firstborn so who are his children who are these children sister who are his sons no we are not we're not we're not all human beings right. we did no no they're mankind Remember, we they took one step for man, look, sister, they took one step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So we're not all the same. We're not the same. They're just kind of men. Teach. Wake up from your slumber. Yeah, wake up know from yourself. your sleep, sister. The pastor, oh. he's been mashing you up for sister, too long. Wait, you know that. yourself. We're not human. What nationality are you? Turn this cheek. You don't know. You want to find out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Udo, Udo. Hey, look. Give me. Come, 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 come. come. Hold Udo. Oh my God. Isaiah, as Isaiah, one of you. Come on. Sister, please. Let the Bible see. Let the truth speak. Because what she's doing, she can't go against this. She can't. So let's read it. Isaiah, no, stop, stop talking. Isaiah 1 and 3. Wait, wait, wait. This is the book, book of Isaiah. Read, let the Bible speak. And then this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, but, who? but, but Israel, Israel doth not know. They're calling themselves African. My They're calling themselves West Indian to or Caribbean. Hard. All right? Our people, they don't know. So my people doth not consider. Why don't they even consider being Israelites? Oh, we're all children of God. Yeah. That's not in the Bible. That's right. His son is Jacob and Israel. That's Abraham, right. Isaac, Jacob. They have the covenant. They have the blessings. They're giving up the law. We can't go around calling ourselves West Indian. Indian means savage. West is a direction. I don't come. Where's the North Indians? Yeah, that's Where's right. the South Indian? Where's the East? Oh, yeah, there there's is. East Indian. Yeah, 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 yeah there's East savages. Yeah. But where's the North savages? Where's the, the South, South savages? savages? Yeah, that's right. I'm not a West Indian, man. Don't call me a damn savage. I'm biblically the best. Of course, I'm about, give me, give me First Peter. First Peter. First Peter. Yeah, yeah. Chapter, chapter, chapter two. And verse six. We're going to show you who we are. This is the book of First Peter. Chapter 2, verse 9. All right, listen, listen. Let's hear it, let's hear it. Listen in. Hey, brother, brother, bro, let's listen. You're not letting the Bible speak, man. Let the Bible speak. This is the Everyone's book. words are nothing compared to the word That's of God. Right. That's right. That's right. First Peter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who called 
you out of darkness into the marvelous, marvelous light. All right, so a peculiar, a chosen. These are words we need to hold. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. What, when you look at them words, peculiar, chosen, precept must be upon precept. Have you read the Psalms, right? You have to use precept. Let's read a precept. Can't. This Let's is read it. Deuteronomy listen, 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 chapter listen. 14, verse 1. Bring it out. And ye are the children of the Lord, your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves nor make any boldness between your eyes for your dead, for the dead. For, for, thou art. for the dead. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Go on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a particular a people. Peculiar, a peculiar, peculiar people unto himself. So we just read that in the New Testament. And that God. the Israelites are peculiar people. That means that the way they cook, the way they dance, the way they dress, yes, they're the salt right. of the earth. Right. They want to be like us. That's they want right. to tan themselves now. Yeah, yeah, but they get they need suntan lotion because they get skin cancer, man. That's right. All right. The most high don't love them because they're not peculiar like us. I keep on telling people. We are the peculiar. Above all nations. Above who? Above all nations. So the Israelites are peculiar because they just love the way we do things. They want to come from Jamaica and want to eat our food and eat our coconut them and love the way we vibe and watch right. it because no. why? we have right. the energy we have the vibration that's because right. the most have yeah. made us the best man that's right, that's right. Uh, right. this is the book of isaiah chapter 44 verse 1 bring that out yeah. now hear O jacob my servant and, and israel whom i have chosen and who and, and israel whom, whom i have chosen. chosen so who are the peculiar and the chosen people according to the new testament See what I'm saying now? She's confounding, man. Confounding. She's confounding, man. Present. Who are the who are the peculiar people? Because we read first Peter, right? What did you just say to the under the disciples? Give me, give me. Go ye. Go, go, go. Go ye to the ends of the earth. Yeah. Which the good news is all my time. Yeah. Let's get them, let's get them few sets. Give me Matthew 24. Uh, give me Matthew's one and six. Matthew's 121. We're gonna get them. Matthew's 121. Alright? And Matthew's 24 and 13. Let's read that, sister. This is your poster. Ah, you know what it is. Let's read it. I will tell you, Jerry Maya. Says, no matter my enemies are closing in, but my God is closed as well. This is let not. Hey, no, no, no. Yes, this is the book of Matthew, yes, chapter 24 and 13. But he shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Go on, keep reading. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all worlds for the witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. And then what? And then the end shall come. All right, This is madness. This is not edifying. This is just screaming and shouting. We just need to read the Bible because the Bible is the truth. Hello, your sisters. What it is? Please, 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 please. Hey, sister. No, no, sister. Who is the Lord? Sister. Let's read this, man. This is the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 1, about 21. Please let the word speak, sister. Yes. Read, read. This is the book of Matthew 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt name him. Call his name Jesus. Jehoshai. Jehoshai. For, for he shall save his people. The whole world. His, his people. people. Who's his people? His wait, are you against that? Are you wait, 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 sister, are you against that? No, I'm not. So you're going on like you're against the Bible. Whose people are you gonna save? Read it again, read it again. Because if you're against this, you're gonna be condemned and you're gonna be called the Antichrist. Read this, read this. She shall bring forth a son. And, and thou, thou shalt shall shall call his, his name Yahweh Shai, for he, he shall, shall save his, his people from means, their sins. Who sins? From, from their, their sins. Sin. And who can sin? Which means Jesus. What is the sin? What is the sin, Jesus. sister? What is the sin? Wait, that, that name means Jesus. Is what is Yahweh Shai means Jesus? So who can Jesus. sin? So whoever. The Bible says, Give me Acts chapter, Acts chapter 2 whoever, and verse 2. Read it, read it. We're going to show you. Let's read it. Let's read it then. 
Are you going to read it or this is the madness? book of Acts, chapter the 2 and verse 21. And it it's shall come to pass that, that whosoever listen. shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Go on. Ye listen. men of Israel. Who? Ye, ye men, men of Israel. Israel. Can call the name. Ye, ye men of Israel. Israel. Confounded, man. Israel. Israel. Look at her face. Look at her face. Oh. Who can call upon Israel. the name? Israel. Read it, read it again. And it shall come to pass that no, no, whosoever... Read the book, read the whole book. What, what, what book are we in? Acts what chapter, chapter 2 of verse 21. Read, read. And it shall come, come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye, ye men, men of Israel. Hear these words. Who could hear the words? Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. Let's go again. Because he is so, real. So, so you don't read the Bible, sister. Right. You let the pastor, you, you let the pastor spew madness. That's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible, no. Give me Revelations 21 and verse. We can read so many verses, man. You ain't bring out one verse here, man. Revelations 21 and 12. Khan, this is Revelations chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring that out. And it had a great wall high. No, 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 let him read them, man. You're not reading this. Come on. And it had a wall great high. Yeah, yeah, read it. That one. Right. What was it? 1 and 12. 21, 21 and 12. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, and verse 12. And had a wall great and high. So there's the kingdom of heaven. There's, there's gates. All right? Go on. And had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. So there's bouncers. And they've got a damn, have you heard of the VIP list? Yes, or the right. guest list? Right. All right, there's angels, 12 of them, at the 12 gates. And they've got the list there. And it's not for whosoever of the whole world. Right. All right? That's it's for right. Lehman of Israel. That's right. Let's read. And names written thereon. So like there's a name here. And this is Bedford. There's a big gate. This is for the people that want to bet in Bedford. That McDonald's is the people that want to eat in McDonald's. And the kingdom, there's names for the people that have to go through the kingdom of heaven. Now, That's let's right. Let's find out what names there are. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Of whosoever. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Wants to come in. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. The book of Revelations. The apoc that means the ap apocalypto. The things to come out. To the reveal. Future. To reveal to us come. what is going to happen in the end days. That's, That's right. right. When the end shall come, the children of Israel are only getting in the kingdom. That's right. right. Because he says, I'm going to save my people from their sins. John 1 verse 12. I hope I'm getting to you, sister. I hope they are getting Because she moved like she now won't be Israel. She won't be there in Africa. My young blood. My young blood. Do you want to be Africa or Israel? Do you want to be Africa or Israel? Sister, what's your nationality? Because if you don't, if you go to the angels and you don't say Israel, you're gonna be not allowed in. Right. No, you might get kicked away. Like you're not on the guest list. No, sister. Yeah, yeah, we won't get it. Who? Israel, let's go up your hand. Israelites, go up your hand. Israelites, go up your hand. Israelites, go up your hand. Hey, yo, yo, sister, you ain't got your hand up. Sister, you don't have your hand up. You're not, you. Yeah, help her, help her. <laughs> she don't even want to put her. He knows. He's over there. He knows, man. <laughs> hey, John 1 to bring it up. This is the book of John, chapter 1 of verse 12. Give me, give me, um, but as one. many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his wait, name. Wait, wait, but you're mad though. We just read Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. And it said the sons of God are Israel. That's right. Are you going crazy yes. though? And sister, 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 look. You know what it is? Everyone. That's a sister. Sister, you're okay. That's why I That's why we're She's seizing it, yeah. Look, Sila, Sila. That's why we're ready. That's why we're ready. That's why we're ready. That's you why you're not in Nigeria. You sister, you know what it is? Your life. Where, what's your national? Are you, uh, where are you from? We just because he can't even be in Where are you from? Where are you from? What's your where, do, where do they class you? Where do they class you? What's your passport? Is it Ghana? Nigeria. It's Ghana, Nigeria. Well, no, where, where's your, where are you? Where are you? Where's your father? Where's your, no, 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 not no, Africa. That's a white man. Leo Scipio Africanus is a white man. The colonizer. Have you seen the Black Panther? The colonizer. 
The colonizer is called Africa. Leo Scipio Africanus. He's the one that drew the map of Africa. So, so, so he's the one that called us Africa. Yes. 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 It was called the land of Amber. So you don't, don't know your heritage. You don't know your heritage. Yeah, what? Who? And Kush. Kemet. 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 There's four, four sons of the Hamites. You're not a Hamite sister. Hey, what? It's not even funny. But all praises to the Most High. Make what? No, no, listen, sister, please, man. Ellis, please. Baba Kusha. They are waiting on us. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Biblically, yeah. 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 When we were talking naturally, naturally, I come from Africa, I come from Jamaica. Now we will go to the biblical way. Biblical way. Yeah, yeah. Fine, that's oh, what you will say. Yeah, yeah. The biblical way is okay. Biblical, where are we? Biblically, you can say we are all Israelites. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. no. Come on, there's not. There's no, what? No, Come on, sister, you're going to hurt my head. If you receive that, it's adopted. There's 18 different nations in the world. Adopted. Pick it pick, pick it up, you're done. How are you? How can I? How you're right. I can adopt a Chinese person to be an Israelite. You can adopt a child to be a Chinese person. Wait, wait, I can adopt this. It's somewhere in God. Sister, hear this. I can adopt a a Chinese person to be an Israelite. That's safe. Hey yo, what's your nationality? Are you, are you Japanese? Are you Chinese? You asked me about the Chinese Atlantic. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, this is not my answer. Give me your time. Yes? Hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, Please ask this for us. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. See spiritually, the men them were, were, were taken up authority, and the women they're going to be dams, they're going to be princesses, they're going to be modest of power, they're going to be humble and shameful. But the men were the warriors, so we're going to start protecting our sisters and coming out. It's about time. Because the men them are not here. <laughs> This year we're gonna be fighting in, in the for a long time, for a long, long time. Like Judith, yes, and um, Deborah, them girls. Yes, yes. But no, sister, we're dead there, right? So let's deal with it. Let's deal with it. All right. This is proper. Proper. Yeah. All right. Listen to this. Sister, listen, listen, listen. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one, and verse sixteen. There is no end of all the people. So you can't say that everyone are biblical Israelites. There's Egyptians in the world. There's Kushites in the world. There's Ethiopians. You can't say might. that people are just all Israelites. That's madness. Because someone needs to be judged for what they've done to the saints. Can. Someone, the, the heathens need to be judged for what they've done to our nation. Can. So you can't say they're all Israelites. Because there's four gates for Israel. There's not four gates for every adopted Israelite. That's not madness. You understand? Please, please, please. Even you're, of all you're that. sounding like a coon. You're sounding like you've got you've got a little a little a toy boy, a little Italian toy boy on the side, and you want him to jump in with it. You know what I mean? What's going on? Stop it, man. Don't turn onto them. The most I separate from them. That's why. Don't reach your seat. Don't reach your seat. Separate from them. Read that, read that. There's no, read that. There is no end of all the people. There's no end of the people. Even of all that have been before them. So everyone that's been before, and everyone that's now, there's no end of the people. Read. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this is also vanity and so, vexation of spirit. So the ones that come after, us, they're still going to be here. And they're, not, and they're still not going to be rejoicing in the most high. Do they're still going to be the kissing the stone, carve the stones. They're still going to have the, the crappy the cross. Mary, kissing Mary and babe, white Jesus. They're still going to do no, abominations. That, 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 that's the thing, that's the but you're not listening no, to the I Bible. Know, I, know, I don't agree with that. No. In the Bible, what, what the word of God says, we shouldn't bow to any, any no, graven no, image. No, no, stone. No, 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 exactly. No, 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 but in Ghana, they sit down and praise a golden stool. But they do. I'm just saying, not you, not everyone, but we're talking about the nation of Ghana. They are shanty. They actually sit down and worship the stool. 
Leon Capone. Leon Capone. Alright? It means on the Saturday they had the version of the Sabbath. And they kept saying that the Ashanti, Ashan is in the Bible, it means no. Alright, a shine in the Bible, it means smoke, and it comes from the tribe of Judah. Alright, so we know our heritage. Nigeria is written in Acts chapter 13. So we know our heritage. Alright, the, the Negroes, we are the chosen people. The Hispanics and the Native Americans, we they are our brothers and our sisters. So we are coming together, we're learning what's going on. But what it is when we're letting the pastor talk to you and you don't research for yourself. You didn't know that all these house of Israel can only hear the words. Did you read the rest of the verse? Did you read? You didn't finish it. But they said, Whosoever can call upon the name, why it says, Ye house of Israel. When the Lord comes, when the Lord comes, when the Lord comes, we got to put the seed in, and then I'll pull up and water it, and then the most I can give it the income. So what we're doing, we're trying to plant the seed to let her know that she needs to know her biblical nationality. It's not about being Ghanaian, because that is not on the gates of heaven. When we come to your pastor. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, promise. Promise. Promise, shalom. We are. And to say, to be saved. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 6. We have the right to judge people, not to condemn, but to rebuke. Because if you get. But listen, when you're getting the word condemn and rebuke we can, if they show forth their spirit, then we, we can be. Because remember, the natural mind, they don't understand the spirit. But the ones that keep the commandments and laws, they understand what is going on spiritually. And that's in the Corinthians. Understand? We know the natural, but we obtain the spirit by ignoring. We don't, we don't want to be damn faggots. We don't want to break the Sabbath. We're not going to eat swine. We're going to keep the modest apparel of the, of the fringes of a border of blue. We, we rehearse the right acts. So we have the right to see what is right and wrong in the world. The Most High says that he's going to give these secrets unto the saints. So we receive the benefits because we before was calling ourselves gangsters, rude boys. I mean this gang, black gang, what? Now we're saying now nah, we're Israelites, man. Huh? And we're we're the special and chosen. You should be like saying all oh, all praises to the most high that our, our brothers and our sisters, our young men are rising up and, and coming out on the road. Not trying to buck up against the, the word, but all you're doing, when we're reading the Bible, all you're doing is bucking up against the Bible. Alright, let's read it. Alright, let's not buck up against the word. This is a good That's a good spirit. Because what you should do as an old woman is, is not be looking at us, but more examining yourself and seeing how are you teaching your daughter or how are you teaching your granddaughter. Well, the Bible says you've got to make sure you keep her at home, keep her in modest apparel. She's got child on that and stuff, you know? So you've got, you got to kind of, you've got the dress on, why is she wearing the dress? So, you know what I mean? This is the little ways you've got to not really look at how we're trying to tell the people, but examine yourself and how you're dealing with your household. You understand? This is the book of First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. First Corinthians 6 and 2. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Who are the saints? Psalms, so you don't know, okay. it's Psalms 50 and 5 or Psalms 149 and verse 8. If you don't know who the saints are, you, 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 you just pause for too long. Saints ain't little babies with wings and nappies and a damn bow and arrow and that. Who are the saints? You think, oh, the saints are the little, little from the churches and that. That's madness, man. That's what I'm saying. You're letting the so-called white man preach to you for too long. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 1. Listen, listen to the Bible, sister. Wait. You're doing too much, sister, now. You're going to be trying, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50. Sister, listen to who the saints are. This is the book of Psalms 50 and verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And if you go to Exodus chapter 24, it will show you that the Israelites made a covenant with the Most High. All right, give me this one. This is the book of Psalms 148 and verse 14. Yeah, that's he also, 
exalteth the horn of his people. All right, the strength, forming strength of his people. The praise of all his saints. His saints. Even of the children of Israel. All right, the children of who? The children Even of, of the Israel. children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the saints. So now read this. A Was people it? near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. First right, Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? The saints right. are going to judge. You can't say that the saints cannot judge. Go on, they're going to judge. And if the world shall be judged by you, All right. and ye unworthy judge the smallest matter. There's a book in the Bible called Judges. That's right. That's right. So we can judge, sister, but you have to give righteous judgment. That's you right. can't judge the poor ones. Uh, better than the, than the rich ones. You can't judge the rich ones better than the poor ones. You have to give a righteous discernment. So you can't, the, the saints are going to judge who? Listen, sister, listen, listen. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, ye are, are, not, are you not? Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matter? So we can judge little things. We can judge big things. We can judge little things. Go on. No, ye not. That, that, that we shall judge angels. The saints, Israelites, are going to judge angels. That's right. You don't know this because you're saying you can't condemn. We're going to condemn them. It is, it is. If you tell someone. Alright, alright, I hate you, I hate you. I hate you. Let's not be semantical with the words. Alright, I hate you still. But we're going to tell people, look, we're going to rebuke angels. Alright? Sister? You learn a lot. That's the whole point of it, right? Yeah. Well, if you want to look at that, you learn from. You go on YouTube and your phone. Okay, I put yeah, Vine yeah. of Israel in London. Yeah. Yeah. Vine of Israel in London, yeah? Vine of Israel. It's on the internet. Vine of Israel. The Vine of Israel. The Vine of Israel in London. It's on the YouTube. Right? Right? So you were edified? You got, you got up the piece of the knowledge? Let's turn it into this. You know what's going on, brother? No, yeah, you're in the church, right? You church goes, yeah? Uh -huh, yeah. And you've been warned about us already, like, don't go speak to those guys. Well, you read the Bible. Right no. You haven't been warned. I've my own decisions. Okay, okay. <laughs> the past is because you know Jeremiah 23, you want to bring it out. Right, there's something about going to the um, Jeremiah 23 that we kind of analyzed. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Alright, sister, look us up, right? Alright, peace and love. Alright, so it says, woe be unto the pastors. That's right. The woe means destruction. So, and that's it. Alright, be unto them, because they what they do, they scatter the sheep. Have you read the book of Maccabees? Yeah. Alright, get the first, first Maccabees. Chapter 5, uh, chapter 1 and verse 12. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 12. So this divide 11, 11, 11, 11 in those days when they're out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. All right, so there's are, our people, all right, there's, there's people amongst Israel, all right, that are going uh, to the to the popes, yes. all right, to the, the council of Nicaea, and they're dealing with Catholicism. All right? And they're saying that there's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're saying that everyone can be saved. That's what we had to down, uh, fight up with the woman just now because she's been indoctrinated with right. madness. Right. Understand? But when we right. read it in the Bible, she got confounded because everything she was saying, she didn't read the rest of the verse. It was only the Israelites that can call upon the name. It was only Israelites on the 12 gates and the kingdom of heaven when you read Revelation. She hasn't read these things for herself. So now when we read them, we should be find out that the wicked men of our people have made a covenant. Read that again. Yes. Um, in those days when they're out of Israel, wicked men so who... So in, in the time of Alexandria, right, when the, the Greeks came into Jerusalem and sacked them, right? Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Because they know if we keep our laws and commandments, they're not going to strike. Yeah, they're going to be afflicted. Yeah, but if we learn and keep the commandments and stay in the truth, then we will strive and have blessings. So they, we are fit, we fit curses. All right, curses that all these bookies, all these McDonald's, all these 
KFC, all of these Halifax, all of these are owned by Jewish companies, Arabian companies, Russian companies. They're not owned by so-called blacks or the Latin Americans or they're not owned by us. Like the, uh, the Arabs, all our women are putting uh, Arab hair in the like Indian, Indian yeah. hair. They don't go around sewing locks on or canoes in their hair, do they? Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. So, so you lot Sabbath keepers? Today is the Sabbath. Sabbath. You right. keep the Sabbath? Well, the keeping the Sabbath is according to the scriptures. So go read the book of Acts. That's right. Bring it out, babies. Alright, go to the chapter uh, 11 and 27. This is the book of Acts. Acts. Uh, Luke. 4 and 16. Chapter 11 and Mark, verse 27. Mark 2, Mark 2, and in those days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. No, no. 11. Uh, no. 13 and 27. It's right. it, um, Acts 13 and verse 27. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and of their rulers, because they know him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day. So we go to the people because they don't understand who they are biblically. They don't know who they are because they're calling themselves Black British or Jamaican mm. or West That's Indian right, or Caribbean. So we're going to the people and reading the prophets mm. every Sabbath day. That's right. So when you say are we Sabbath keepers, we are Christian. We are the Christ-like followers of the, the acting like the disciples. Come out every Sabbath day, and we do what? And we, uh, we, which, which, nor yet the voices of the prophets which read, which are read every Sabbath day. They have fulfilled them in condemning him. Mm. So yeah, bring that. This is the book of Luke, chapter four, verse sixteen. Yeah. And he came to, uh, to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was. He went into the synagogues on the yeah. Sabbath day. On the what? On, on the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. The Messiah went in the synagogues on the Sabbath day. And done what? And stood up for to read. Mm. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. All right, go on. And when he had opened the book. So the book, Isaiah is a book. Right? At that time, there weren't chapters. Mm. Not like now we've got chapters and it was just a whole scroll, right? So when he opened up the book, it landed on a certain part. All right, read. He found the place where it is written, The scriptures of the Lord is upon me, because he have anointed me to preach the gospel so to that's, the poor. So that's 61, chapter six, Isaiah chapter 61. I have come to preach good timing. And the gospel ain't for everyone. Isaiah, he's not saying let's go to the whole world. We read it earlier on, Isaiah 44, right? The chosen one, uh, Jacob my servant and Israel my chosen. That's right. The only ones that are chosen in, in, in uh, Isaiah are the Israelites. The only ones getting saved in Isaiah is the Israelites. There's not the whole world. I don't know why people are getting this John 3.16 for God so loved the world. But they didn't read verse 14. Because verse 14 says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. Right. So the serpent in the wilderness is in Moses' time. That's right. And that was only lifted up in the wilderness for the Israelites. That's right. That's it right. weren't lifted up for Indians. We weren't lifted up for Moabites, the Chinese. We weren't lifted up for Egyptians. The Egyptians got left behind. So let's be real. The, the John 3.16, people are, the, the serpent. Let me just break it down properly. The pastors are scattering the sheep, using the truth to push their lies. Right. That's right. To use lies, you need to have a remnant of truth. The truth. You have to use remnant of truth. So now the truth has set us free now what to analyze you're that you're the Bible, we don't want no money for this. This is the truth. And a lot of people, they will use the truth and think, oh, let, let me make a profit out of it. Let me make money out of it. The truth is meant to be free. Mm, the right. truth can't be hidden and put under the ground. Who's going to profit if I die and I put my truth under the ground? you got to now dig it and find it like a damn lost treasure. It's better that it gets used and then the generation, it gets put and it gets inherited to that generation, inherited to another generation. But what it is, we've been discontinued from our heritage. We've lost our heritage. Now we've got Ashkenazi Jews, Jewish people, and Ashkenazis, they are Japhetic nations. Ashkenaz is literally a Japhetic nation. So why is Ashkenaz saying that from the tribes of Shem and biblically they're Esau they're, the, they're not even Ashkenaz they go around they go around stealing nationalities from people it's 
one kick over the team. Alright, go ahead. Alright, Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Go on. Says, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage right. that, that, that I gave thee. So and will discontinue from my heritage. That's why I'm hearing so much from the land. You need to know something. The spirituality. That's what we lose. Go on, yeah, so Jeremiah 17 and verse 4 it says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So that's what we, that's what we read uh, Acts, in the book of Acts, right? Chapter 13. Sister, one second, sister. Right? Acts chapter 13 and verse 4. Remember, we said we have to go and tell the people on the Sabbath day because they don't understand what we're saying. There will not be a Sabbath keepers. Open your Bible to Acts chapter 13 and verse 4. Acts chapter 13 and verse 4. We're no, there. they are, they are, they're close there. there. They're not we all the way, they're not all 100. Uh, they're not all 100 there. But they're a little bit there. And you know what? We need to say we are 100% there. We're not. We're all uh, trying to see the most high and get closer, right? You've got one of them. But as well. what it is, right? I don't know. It's cool now. They're your husband. They're your husband. <laughs> you know? We're friends. We're friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, they've got the King James version, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, if you've got this so version, if you've versions. got this, that's in this book. Oh, yeah. So this what's in here is in the Holy Bible? Yeah, no, no, that's not... This is in the not... 1611, right? When you look in the 1611 King James edition, right? Mm -hmm. What you'll see here is that it's got the it's got the Apocrypha. Mm -hmm. A lot of people call it the Sifa, but in, in, in Jamaica, if we get caught reading the Apocrypha, the Maccabees, you get put to death. Man. Really? You'll get, yeah, you couldn't, you get found holding this book. But now, the Mosai says he's opened up the seals okay. for us to know oh, this. In, it's yeah. in this one. So if you uh, see here, it's, it's called the Apographer. Uh -huh. And then in, and in, if you go to the Apographer here. No, no, okay, okay. All right, yeah, it means, turn, turn the page. All right, the Apographer, the word Apographer, which means hidden or secret, is uh -huh. used to distinguish the writings. So look, it was hidden, it was taken out, taken out. of normal yeah. Bibles, of, the, of, the, of these Bibles. Mm -hmm. So what he has to do, he has to put it in between Micah and, and Matthew. That's right. Because that's where it will slot in. That's where, that's where it slots in in my yeah, Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between Micah and Matthew. Right? So it's, good, it's a good read. Yeah, There's good information good in here. There's information in here that can, that's really edifying and can help you out. Get Ecclesiastes chapter 51. Right, so you understand that, right? Well, this continue for my yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we say, what's your nationality? What's your nationality biblically? Biblically, or are you talking about from uh, one of the tribes? No, no, but yeah, like what's your nationality biblically? Like, like, uh, child of God, isn't it? That's how I'm saying it. But who are the children Israel. of God? Yeah. The children of Israel, they're obedient. Okay, the then, so, so you would say that you're, Israel, you're, you're, you're Israel, the children yeah, yeah. of God, yeah? There is, there is also the physical and there's also the spiritual Israel. Well, but spiritual is by going under the commandments. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't go under the commandments, you are, you got an evil spirit. So you got a righteous spirit if you keep the commandments. So now, if we look at, if we break the commandments, there's a spirit or a curses that will come on the Israelites. And that's why we're out here to tell our people, this is the way we identify ourselves, by fitting these conditions of getting persecuted by our enemies, by praising idols and stones and wooden stones and so-called white gods and that, Chinese gods, Hindu gods, gods of not our nationality. We got put in cast into ships, all right? This is a this is a, something that we fit. Not everyone fits this. Uh, right, they're gonna show you. Give me um. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah. Oh yes. Give me Jeremiah chapter 50. Oh no, you said it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and verse uh, 6. Oh wait wait wait. Jeremiah 50 and verse uh, 6. Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. But people have been lost sheep. They and their shepherds have caused them to go astray. So our people have been lost sheep. And the wicked ones amongst our people, all right, the, the, the pastors, man, they cause them to go astray. All right, you got the, what's his name? The, 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 the Farrakhan. You got the, who are they? The T.D. Jakes. Yeah, T.D. Yeah. Jakes. You got the, um, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? This, the list goes on. Yeah. The KICCs and the, the youth KTs and that, yeah, that they cause them, they cause us to go astray, not to go to directly what's going on in the scriptures. And they start, they start talking about their dreams all day and saying, "Ah." Oh, like you come like Martin Luther Coon, man. Yeah, yeah. You got a dream that we can all hold hands and telling us about the. That's yeah. not gonna get that's us nowhere the because they start going well, read it again, bro. Take it back to script. My people, yeah, take it back have, to the word. Have that's been right. lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away from the. Um, they have turned them away on the mountain and have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their. We we So we've forgotten Jerusalem. And, yeah. and in, when you go to Psalms uh, 137, it says, By the rivers of Babylon where we sat down, there we wept. We remember Zion. How can we sing a strange song? How can we sing the, the Lord's song in a strange land? Yeah. Right? And it says, If our mouths forget Jerusalem, all right, let, let, let's cut off the, our right hand. And let them, our tongue cleave to our lips. We've forgotten Jerusalem. That's we're right. saying that we're from London. Man. That's right. We're saying we're from, I'm from Kilburn or I'm from I'm from Peckham or I'm from Bristol. Yeah, we can't be saying them things like, oh, we're from the ghetto. Do so you want to read something? You got a highlight? We'll get, no, we'll get, I was we'll about get you something to highlight. Names. Names. This is the book of Baruch. Who is the name? Uh, um, Ezra. Ezra's Ezra. the yeah, same Ezra. It's the same Ezra. It's the same Ezra. Oh, Ezra. Okay. Yeah. Same Ezra. Right. Yeah, so, um, it's a good book, Professor, right? There's Baruch. Did Baruch. Yeah. He's an Ezra. Where, where is he? Wait, 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 wait. Where is he? Go to chapter. Go to chapter one. Uh, chapter two. Uh, Ezra two. Second Ezra. All right. Chapter five. We'll show you. We'll show you some secrets that because this is a secret, right? But let's show you secrets in it. All right. The Mosai. Not everyone is the chosen. The Mosai has chosen and special ones, right? So we're gonna go through them. All right. Go to Second Ezra, chapter five, and go to verse twenty-two. Second Ezra five twenty-two. We're gonna read and just read along with us. Okay. Right? This right. is the book of Second Ezra, chapter first Ezra. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, right. chapter 5, right, five and nine. verse two, 22. And my soul recovered the spirit of understanding, and I began to talk with the Most High again, All right. and said, O Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth, yeah. and of and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen the only one vine, one right. only vine. So look, out of all the trees, the vine is the best tree in the whole world, that like the most high loves and chosen. That's, That's why right. we call ourselves the vine of Israel, because the vine is the chosen and Israel are the chosen. So we're the vine, of, if you go to Isaiah chapter 5, it talks about the vine being the Messiah and the Israel being the vine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's right. right. 24, and all... Uh, and of all the lands, so sorry man, and of all lands of the whole world thou hast chosen the one pip. And of all so the that flowers. One land, the one land of the world is the promised land, the land of milk and honey. What they would like to call the Middle East. Where's the Middle West? Where's the Middle South? That's right. Where's the Middle North? That's right. Alright, but the, why it's called the middle? Because it's the middle of the universe, it's the middle of the world. Yeah, that's right? right, that's right. And of all lands of the whole world that has chosen the one pit, and of all Israel. the flowers Israel. thereof, one lily. Alright, the lily flower is the best flower to have. Uh, if you ever know about Solomon, Sharon, the lily, alright, his favorite, you know the gal. <laughs> All right, Lily, go on. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled the one river. The river Jordan. And of all the building cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. Jerusalem. All right. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named the one dove. One, the dove, the, the first bird to come back to see Noah. Mm -hmm. See, these are these are things they don't tell you. Yeah. The Mosai says he don't he left. He may create all things in the world, he but he has paper. special chosen That's things. It. Like you got them shoes, bro. Them shoes look pretty snug, snazzy. <laughs> you like, why did he chose them ones over the brown ones? <laughs> They're the ones that fit too. Yeah. 
Is this the you know what I mean? They're your possession. That's We're right. the most the oppositions of the most high, the That's sons right. of God, right? That's right. And his name is Yahweh. And his son's right. name is Yahweh Shai. That's right. There's a big debate about Yahuwah, Yahushua, Jehovah, Jesus, and that. But when we go into the Hebrew, we've learned how to speak the Hebrew tongue and know the alphabet. Okay. And that's alpha right. and bet just means A and B. Alpha and bet. Alpha, alpha, yeah, alpha, and they yeah. think that's there's not A B, it's as after that. All right, so and then, um, and of all that, this is 26, yeah, and of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. All right, so the sheep are the best out of all the farm animals, of all the cattle. Oh, the beast. People might think it's the lion, you know what I mean? It's not. Some people might think eagle is the best bird, it's not. It's the dove. So, you know what I mean, that's why they went to when they went to Samuel and says, yo, this is the brother, yeah, but he said, nah, Samuel, I don't see the way you see. Yeah. I see that David is the one. Right, because David it's not about how big or strong or powerful, it's about how meek and humble, because the meek shall inherit the kingdom. The meek shall inherit the kingdom and the earth, exactly. Right. Right. 27, and among all the multitudes of peoples, Thou hast gotten thee one people, and, that's the and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. So that's why, as Israelites, brother, sisters, we need to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's right. So that's why it's not about the, the pastors. That's how we're sitting, scattering the sheep. Because they're saying, come as you are, and it doesn't, it's not what goes in you, it's what comes out of you. And, if what goes in you is already dirty, what comes out of you is obviously dirty. Yeah. So that doesn't that make any sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're not saying to be vegan and all that, but we're just saying, yo, there's, there's clean, clean animals, uncool. there's unclean animals, right, yeah. there's righteousness and there's wickedness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah, I hope you've edified. You can look us up on this called The Vine of Israel on YouTube. Okay. Right? Thank you, guys. Peace and love, bro. Peace and love. Everybody got to look into it. Yeah, they have to look into it, but we just plant the seed. It's good. Yeah, we don't want to in, we don't want to power them, overpower them, but it's time. You're my sister. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Wait, 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 hold up. You called Joel. Let me get you that for you. Yeah, yeah. Joel, you said Joel number two, chapter two, yeah? Verse 27. Okay, you're cool, you're cool. No, wait. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. In the midst of who? In, in the, the midst, midst of, of Israel. Israel. And that I am the Lord your Lord God, God. And none else. And who else? And none else. So he's only the Israelites' power. And my people shall never be ashamed. So we're not ashamed to speak That's about right. That's right. We're always we're going to lift up to the mountains. We're going to cry out to the winds. That's right. And say he only loves us. That's right. And we're going to be happy about it. A lot of people, they sister, she's trying to help her put her hand up. It's like no, a magnet. No, it's like no, it was no, against no, I don't want to. Uh, magnetism. Like, we're getting up. <laughs> uh, it's our people, sister. You can try to push their hand up, but many are cold, but few are chosen. I was only joking. I know, I know. We don't need joking. That's the spirit. Do one and three. Do one and three. Do one and three. Do one and three. That's the spirit. I think it's true. Exactly. This is the truth. Yeah. Right. How are you been yeah. feeling? You been feeling good? Your health and your bones yes, coming in and I mean, going out. I'm up here, I'm up there, and I'm in the afternoon looking at myself. There's a lot of things that come in your life. Yeah. You take you take any other jab things? You take them jabby things? I didn't take them. You took them? That's not a good book system. Yeah, no, we don't do that. You don't want to take them to the system, please. And the mask as well. You don't need the mask. If you fear the most high, you won't fear what man could do and, and, and diseases. Remember, you trust in the Father. Mm. He's meant to protect you and be your, 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 your uh, the wing. Mm. So, yeah. just, give me Psalms 27. I know they read it, they, they read it on, they got their Bible open on it, but they don't think they've been reading it enough, man. Yeah, I'm, I don't think so if you're getting them things. In there. This is the book of This is the book of Psalms 27 and verse 1. Famous scripture for the hunting. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Who what? Whom shall I fear? You feared, sister. You was very scared. You was frightened. 
You were so frightened, you trusted in your enemies. No, no, no. no that's right? Read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of who shall, of whom shall I be afraid? And you was afraid. You didn't trust in your strength, sister. So you started no. trusting in your, your oppressors, your enemies. No. No, 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 sister, come on, listen, listen, listen. When when the wicked, wicked, when the wicked, when the wicked, so when the wicked try to devise things to hurt us, uh, we're not going to trust him. We're not him perfect. Now. Sister, I know, but you lost twice. You said you've done it twice. So go on. Yeah. When the wicked, even mine enemies, mm -hmm. are my, even mm -hmm. mine enemies, right, the wicked, the enemies go and my foes, are my foes came upon me came to, upon to eat up my flesh. To do what? To eat, eat up my, my flesh. flesh. Go on. They stumbled and fell. Sister, you stumbled and fell like the enemies. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't strip them. You didn't let them overpower you. No, nobody overpowered Yeah, they did. I just But we love you, but we love you. I, 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 speak, I, I pray that for you. But you know. Let it be like. I don't think you can do this with them. I think you can do this with Alright. Daniel chapter and 1. And nobody had this mask on. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, take it off, you need take to it off. take it off, man. Take yeah, it off. Give me, um, Throw it in the bin. Daniel chapter 1. Don't, don't use it again. Daniel chapter 1 and verse 10. This is book of Daniel chapter 1 and verse 10. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, who have appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse likened than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. Then so said, look, there was in Daniel when he was young, and he was around the eunuch for the people that was the, uh, the one that the, the, the hands to the king or like the king's maids yeah, or the servants that looked after the, the, the concubines, the, the concubines the high, and, high up, and uh, yeah. yeah, they looked after these these uh, higher Israelites that was known to be uh, prophets or scribes. Now, why are you, why are you guys looking mash up? You're looking all mongrel up. You know what I mean? Why are you looking all mongrel up for? All right, go on, read, bro. Verse, verse 11. Then said Daniel to Mel Melsha, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, yeah? Prove thy servants. I beseech thee ten days and let them give pulse to eat and water to drink. So look, don't want to eat meat all the time. Let them eat drink water. Oh. Let them eat let them eat righteously. Alright, go on. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the pork portion of the king's meat, and as thou seest, deal with thy servants. Alright, so yeah, after we've eaten these things for ten days. Come and look at our countenance and see how we're going to look after 10 days. That's what Daniel was saying. Why is, why is prophet Daniel, right? And this is when he was a young boy in, in, in uh, Babylon, in Nebuchadnezzar. Go on. So he consented. Go on. So he consented. So he said he consented. He said, all right, I'll give you that trial. To them in this matter and prove them 10 days. Give them 10 days, go on. And at the end of 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer. Uh, what? Appeared fairer. They appeared strong. They looked mighty, they were glowing. I'm they were like, well, I'm not going to listen to the, what you want to do and how you're feeding us with swine. Even you're feeding us with your didn't damn. Make you glow. Sister, you're listening to the Bible. Daniel, a wise young man, he said, I'm not going to listen to your madness or eat your stupid food or give me your damn whatever toxins they want to give them. I'm going to do it according to the way the Most High has brought us up. Right. I've traveled along that way. I've traveled along that way for a while, but I've caught myself and I'm learning more now. I'm learning more now. This is the book of Sarah, chapter 38. 
This is the book of Sirach chapter 38 and verse 4. For the Lord has created well, Lord medicine out of the, the earth. The, the most I created medicines out of the earth. You went to the, to the... Where did you go for that medicine? You went not to the earth. You went to your oppressor. You went to the colonizer. And the colonizer is not going to give you no medicines to help you. They might poison you, man. Maybe. That's right. I mean, I'm not even saying might. They are definitely 100% looking to poison you. And he that is wise will not abhor them. And he that is what? And he that is wise will not abhor them. That means you're not going to discredit, discredit them. You're not going to just like, just like uh, I don't want to use that. I don't want to take that. If you're wise, you're going to find out the herbs and the medicine you need that the Most High gave us from the earth. You're not going to trust in these people. When you trust in these people, these people kill you, man. That's right. All right. When can you ever trust a snake? Mm. You know what I mean? Snake might poison your ass. That's why we have to use wisdom. That's why the problems in the, in the churches, they're not telling them wisdom. That's right. The churches are making sure that they get the poison and they get hurt. That's why they're scattering the sheep of our people. This is a book of Romans chapter 14 and verse 2. For one believeth that he may eat all things. One believeth. Sister. Yeah, sister. You're an you Israelite. You understand? Your father is from West, Af West Africa, West Indies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're from Caribbean? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're an Israelite. <laughs> Because the most I put the, the Caribbean people in captivity and there's no Caribbean in the Bible. That's right. So your your nationality according to the Bible will be called Israel, a daughter of a daughter of Zion. No, the prophets wrote the Bible because they were inspired by the most I. Yes, that's right. Yo, yo, listen, listen, man read the Bible. Yes, but the most I the most I inspired them men. Yes, right. right, to right. That's right. There's righteous men and there's wicked men. That's right. You must agree upon that. Yes, that's right. You understand? Yeah, and your 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 forefathers, your your inheritance, they are the righteous ones upon this earth. That's right. And the ones that they call Caucasian, them are the devil of the Bible. That's right. Yeah, right, them are Satan. That's right. right. Get to know them. Read it right. again. Romans. Romans 14 and verse 2. Bring it out, bro. For one believeth that he may eat all things. So one thinks, oh yes, I can eat anything. I can eat swine. I can eat crabs and lobsters. Go on. Another who is weak eateth herbs. All right, but the ones that is the ones that are weak, they have to eat herbs. Why? Because that is the healing. That is the medicine. We're not saying you have to eat 100% herbs all the time. But know that there's a balance in things. We're talking about herbs like dandelion, like ginger, like 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 all the fruits mm. and the and the uh, many Garlic. fruits, vegetables. Mm. They're good for you. Fruit bearing seed, fruits yes. bearing seed. Yeah, not the hibernated fruits. The fruits of the man, not the fruits of man. Mango sour sap, yeah. 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 Avocado. Yes. Avocado. Yeah. yeah. Natural herbs. Tomato, them things that are good for you. Uh, avocado, pear, brown sugar water, now nah, that good sister. Brown sugar water to snake. A pear. You need honey. You need honey, alright? Or natural sugar cane. Because there are some honey. Because now, nah, because what is there are some honey, right? That is made from the bees, from the citrus of the flowers, of the of the pollen of the flowers. But there's Maduka honey. Right? And some of these honeys are really good for your Maduka honey, yeah. And, and, What's that? And, and remember, yeah. Solomon. No, 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 no. Solomon 20, took 20, the honey out of the, out of the, the lion. Most of the honey is here, they put the sugar. Remember, Solomon took the honey out of the lion. Yeah. All right? And yeah, milk. Yeah, and yeah. why did they say the land of milk and honey? Yeah. Because it's, it's very... Abundant. Because it's a, because the milk uh, is good for... They say milk is good for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the honey is good as well. It's what it's, it's, what it's attributes. That's right. And that's the way that the land of Israel is for us. That's right. When we go back there with the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, in his magnificent glory, then we're going to be the Give me Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter uh, 2. Uh, give me uh, Zechariah chapter 8. I'm praying that I'm doing great. Isaiah 2, you're from the top. And Isaiah, uh, Zechariah 8. I'm doing my best. From the top. And once we read these, we're going to, we got the Nazarite music. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. 
the word that Isaiah, son of Amos, was concerning um, Salakiah. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 1, the word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it came to pass in the last day that the mountain of, the, of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. So the, the Messiah is going to establish his kingdom in the top of the mountains with the Messiah running things. Alright, It shall be exalted above the hill. And it's going to be exalted above all the other kingdoms. Alright, the mountain is the Messiah with the, with the elect 144,000 and the righteous one third of Israel. And then after that, it's going to be the other nations all looking upon the righteous sea land. And all nations shall flow into onto it. And all the nations are going to come and, and, and ask for uh, advice, mortgages, loans, medicines, everything. Schooling. They're all going to come to us and ask the Israelites, how are we going to, what, what, how am I going to, they need a passport, they need to ask us. All right? They need a, on a birth certificate, they need to ask us. We're going to be running things soon, man. That's biblical, man. But our people, no, let, let's save them, man. Don't, don't feel sorry for them, man. Yeah. Don't hurt them. What about so them? them for let, what them, done. let them come in as well. And, nah, nah, nah. All right? That's not, that's not biblical. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the, of the power of Jacob. And they're all going to be in one accord, like, yeah, these are the chosen ones. Come, let's all go and ask Master, if we can do what, how high he wants us to jump, all right? And he will teach us of his way. And then, that's what I said, we're going to have the schooling systems and the doctors and everything, all the ways. And we will walk in his path. And they're going to walk in our path, go on. For out of Zion shall go forth the Lord and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. All right, and praise the Lord of the Lord. Everything is coming from, starting from, the Middle East, all right, from Jerusalem. All right, go on. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, and verse 1. Yeah. Again, the word of the of Yahweh of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, Bring it up, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Right. Thus saith Yahweh. I was jealous because why we always dealt with other gods and other nations. He was pissed off, man. Alright, but what's going to happen? Bro? Thus saith Yahweh, I am returned unto Zion. He's going to come back and he's going to bring, like how, you know when you got a child and you lost your child, and when you find them again, you're happy. Yeah. You're like, what? You was dealing with your damn stepdaddy or something. You know what I mean? You're calling him daddy. When you come back and you say, you're my real daddy, he's going to be happy. He's like, yes son, I've been waiting for you to come back. Because all of our, our children, they've been bringing on who their daddy is, man. How many men are in the household, man? It's mad. And will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. A city of truth. And the mountain of Yahweh of hosts, the holy mountain. All right. The Israelite, a holy governance system, go on. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, there shall yet old men there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem and every man with his staff in his hand and what? and every man with his staff in his hand this is what it's going to look like in Jerusalem for men, very age men holding staffs in their hands it's not going to look like madness oh those them guys holding the sticks they're going to be that's going to be a custom who's got the who's got the, the swaggiest looking stick or who's got the you know what I mean the most design looking stick Oh, Moses is that? And Moses is that? That's what she said to me. And Moses is that? All right. So, yeah, man, all praises. But that's going to be in the that's in the scriptures. Go on, keep it. That's right. That's right. It's going to be staffs in our hands. Go on. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Yeah, no, no milk carton, milk milk carton saying missing children. Or them um, posters like children gone missing, man. Mm. They're gonna be playing, walking up and down in the streets, man. All right, that's why you got them Jewish people. You go up to them Stamford Hill or them Finchley. Their children are walking around in the streets, 
And it's, they, they, they can give a damn, man, because oh. this is the kingdom. This is right. the heaven right now. They're living right. in, man. That's right. But when our heavens come, we're going to have it nice. Because why? That's right. Our people, their children go missing because they end up getting eaten by the heathens. That's and right. their blood go missing. That's why we got to make sure we hold our, our children's hand and collect them from school. Because they would love to find our children and put them in the damn abortion clinics and put them in the um, foster homes and end up doing what of our children? Some Satanism, man. Huh? Alright? Drinking their blood like vampires, man. Huh? Alright, come on, bro. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, if it be marvellous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvellous in, in my eyes, saith Yahweh of hosts. Lend it on that. And that's going to be a marvellous time. Exactly, that's what it's going to look like. Alright, beautiful, beautiful people. Everyone getting with the program, servants, all right? building up the walls. All right? Day and night, the gates are going to be open every day so, the, so they can do their work. Man. All right? And there's going to be beautiful children in the streets playing. And they go to Revelations 21, there's gold in the streets, pearls and many jewels. All right? It's going to be beautiful, man. All right, go on, bring it up, bro. Um, yeah, so on that, yeah, no, that was mighty, man. On that, I'm gonna just close co out from there, man. I hope you was edified. You learned a lot? Oh, bread, that's all it's about, sister. Right? Just, just, just look, don't get no chip in your hand. You might have taken that, that stupid thing, but don't get no chip in your hand. Bro. You understand? Sister, listen to what I'm telling you. Don't get no damn chip in your hand or in your forehead. You get it? You understand? The revelation, bro. The revelation. The revelation, bro. Chapter 13. And verse 515. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13. The verse 16. And he shall close both, small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their hand, in their right hand, or in their forehead. So that mark, it means karagma. It means an etching. All right? Mm. That mark karagma means it, it's an actual equipment to go and etching a mark to go in your flesh. All right? In your right hand or in your forehead. But you, but you can buy and sell with it. And to buy and sell, peace and love. To buy and sell, is when that's in your flesh. You understand? You can't buy and sell with philosophies, man. So you can buy and sell with an RFID chip. The mark is this here that go in your hand to buy things and to sell things. No, the wicked, the Babylon, are gonna put that in your, are gonna tell you if you can't buy it, and that is why you gotta hold fast till he comes. Because you remember, you're gonna go through famine. You're going to go through tribulation. And you better hold fast that you don't put that in you. Because you already went weak. And you got the other thing. So make sure you read Psalms 27. And you recite that in your head. Even if they take the Bible away. You know it in your, off, off the top of your head. So yeah, recite that. Anytime they come to you and to, to, to beguile you. Sister, you're listening. Because you're, you're, you're meant to talk to the fatherless and the widows. Understand? That's what our that's our mission on this. Oh, well, away, I said, oh, you love, oh, you love, oh, you love, yeah, yeah. oh, you love, oh. and, and, and love is yeah. what is love? Yeah. Well, what is love? Yeah. What is love? This, oh, you this, this, you man, bro, bro, come on, this don't, is the book. Don't come in smooth. Hello. Don't come in smooth Hello. and then do that. This don't is the don't book. Like you don't know the name. Wait, wait. This. Read, I know read. the author. This book. is read, the read, book of. Are you born First again? John. Hello. Are you born again? Remember last time I was Are you born again? Are you born again? First John 5 Wait. and 3. For this is the love of God. Go on. That we keep his commandments. That what? That we keep his commandments. So if you love, can hold the law. If you Nobody love, can hold the law. That's why there is grace now. You're talking about the Old Testament. There's a New Testament too. And his commandments. Where is that? Where is that? And you've got another Bible. And there is not another Bible. The Apostle Paul said, if anybody bring you another gospel, let him be.
be a curse. For this is the love of God that, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Hello. Stop yes. shaving Hello. your head. Hello. Yes. Stop shaving you your head. Again. Stop shaving you again. are sinners. Your and sin. you need Christ. So what is a sin? You're a sinner. What is a sin? You are you are in the, you're in the prince of power of the air. What is a sin? You're in the darkness. What is God? You are lost. So you what? are Christ. Bro, you know you need is. light. You know what it is? Huh? You're not Don't lean on your own understanding. You need to be greater than yourself. So where's your... You need the blood. So where's your you church? You need Jesus. So where's your huh? church? Talk, go and talk that down the road, man. Go and spew madness down the road because so-called Jesus, he comes in the volume of the book. He comes in the word, man. And a lot of people, they don't use the book. They don't use the word, sister. We read the book. What, what is love in the most high? What is the what is to love the most high? What is the love? How do you love God? Yeah. You have to follow him and believe. Alright, let's read that again for you, sister. First John 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So how do you love God, sister? That you, you keep his commandments. Simple. Yeah, just go thus say it. Simple. Don't try and add on. Just take don't that's, don't yeah. give it anything deeper. But what, it's just simple and plain. Just keep his commandments, and that's how you love God. And his yeah. commandments so believe, are not grievous. And the grievous you means as hard Christ. to do. Yeah. You believe Jesus Christ. Bro, his name ain't Jesus Christ. J is only five hundred years old. It's a new letter in the in the English dictionary. Yes, 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 uh, the name of the first slave ship that brought us from West Africa to the West Indies is called Jesus. The good ship, Jesus. Good ship, Jesus. So how is Jesus our savior when it was in captivity? They've taken that name and it means Joshua. All right. Joshua's name is what they call Jesus. Because you're going to read it in the Apocrypha and you're going to see the name Jesus there. But it's talking about Joshua. And the name Joshua it means deliverer. He delivers. Yeah. Right? And then how do you say Joshua in Hebrew? Is Yahweh Shai. Shai. That's right. Because Joshua was the one that delivered the Israelites into the land of milk and honey. Moses and Aaron wasn't allowed to do so because they they done disrespectful things in the wilderness. So Joshua and Caleb fought on and went around Jericho and trampled ground seven times for seven days. I mean, seven days one time and on the seventh day seven times and broke down when, the when, Joshua when, and Caleb, we are the ones that are the Israelites. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Alright. Right. Have we got any um questions quickly? Got any questions? Yeah. Actually, my brother is sleeping with my half brother sleeping with my sister. And and I think yeah. it will be dead. Your half brother? No, no, yes, yes, half brother, right? Is that they, are they both, do they both hold the same mother and father? Same, yes. Different mother. Yes, something like Alright, give me the book of the book. Well, I, I, I hope it's going to be uh, first. Yeah, so then that's where we'll read it. Yeah. Alright, give me the book of this chapter. It's something like First, second. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 17. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing. What? It is a wicked thing. And they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He have uncovered his sister's nakedness. Yes, what? He, he, he has, has uncovered, uncovered his sister's nakedness. Yeah. He shall bear his iniquity. Yeah, that's I think thing. it's disgusting. It's a yeah. wicked, it's wicked. Disgusting. It's wicked. I think it's a culture. Yeah. I think it's left. It's, 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 it's not. It's a good thing. It's an abomination. It's fornication. We've got the cards. Uh, right now, we, we have got cards, but we haven't got anything handed out a lot. But if you've got an internet on YouTube, they're uh, called the Vine of Israel. You've got a piece of paper, so I'll write it down. Uh, right now. Carry on, brothers. Right. Really yeah, okay. Go on to YouTube, Vine of Israel, and i this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 22. Cursed be he that lives with his sister and the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother and all the people shall say a month. That's why I just talk to you now. 
The Holy Spirit is for sitting down there. The Holy Spirit is telling you. praise us to the most high. Yeah? So, we can get in contact with the church. We can get in contact move a long stretch of you. So, what is doing now? What is doing now? I found a Muslim, my family, my family, right, let me write, I'll just give you my phone number, so we can, we can get in contact. Oh, praises, man. The most is making miracles, man. Oh, Hopefully, Jesus. we can talk to the young ones in your church oh, and show them, and we can um, just reason. peacefully reason oh, and go right. through the scriptures. Give me Jude chapter. Jude. Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1. This is the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 17. That's my phone number. Yeah. 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 Just give me a ring. Oh. And uh, I will. Anyway, I will go on, on, on that and we'll talk. Yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. We've got, yeah. We got a web, um, our email address and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I just right want to give you point. just a bit testimony for you to understand yeah. who yeah. I am. And you can you. Brother, walk up to the Right. All right. right. I was born a Muslim. Mm. All he my was, family. He was born like Rustas and Christians and black man and that. No. We are born everything. Yeah? So, my family, we are blessed, we have everything. And that was one of the teachers of Islam. In the boss. And I got in a heart attack when I was 21 years old. Mm. And who bring me back? I met Jesus in time. That's what I did. I'm from What's your nationality, big man? I'm from Mauritius. Mauritius, okay, yes, good. And my wife, yeah. Two religious class. My wife was Hindu and I was a Muslim. Okay. I'm a bishop. Well, I was shy. I'm a Shia. Ah, let's yes. go, man. I died and come back because of this. He brought me back and took me out of my country. I'm from here. I was a Muslim and bring me to the city of London for three years. I slept on the street of London in King's Cross. We talked in 1991. Yeah, get, where get, all um, the second, bad second Samuel there. 13 yeah. and 19. So that's where I'll be coming This is the book of. Yeah, go to verse 6. This is the book of 2 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 6. So Ammon lay down and made himself sick. And when the king was come to see him, Ammon said unto the king, I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come and make me a couple of cakes. So yeah, this is the wickedness that happened in Israel. And Ammon, yeah, Ammon said to them, I wouldn't come back with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And make me a couple of cakes in my sight that I may eat out at her hand. Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go now to thy brother. Amnon's house and dress him meat. So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house and he was laid down and she took flour and kneaded it and made cakes in his sight and did bake the cakes and she took a pan and poured them out before him but he refused to eat and Amnon said have all have out all men from me and they went out every man from him and Amnon said unto Tamar, Bring the meat into the chamber, that I may eat of thine hand. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made, and brought them into the chamber to Amnon her brother. And when she had brought them in unto him to eat, he took hold of her and said, Come, said unto her, Come lie with me, my sister. Uh, come what? Come lie with me, my sister. That's disgusting. And she answered him, Nay. My brother, do not force me, do not force me, for no such thing ought to be done in Israel. Do not this, do not thou this folly. What's it called? Do not thou this folly. And I wither, shall I cause my shame to go. And as for thee, thou shalt be as one of the fools in Israel. 
Now therefore I pray thee, speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. Howbeit he would not hearken unto her voice, but being stronger than she, forced her and lay with her. Yeah, wickedness, man, to go and lay down with your sister. Uh, and that's what we got amongst our people. Our people will go and sleep with their sister, man, and uh, that's madness. Yeah, our people... That sounded like it was all open no, no, no. Our people do that, man. No, no, there is, there is. Behind closed doors, you don't know what's going on. Mm. Our people are wicked, and desperately wicked. No, uh, our no, people no. do wickedness. Yes, yes, right, yes, 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 they do. They do. And yes. if, you, if you're with your cousin, all right, that's what happens a lot in our people if you already sleep with their cousin. But that's righteous. You can do that according to the Bible. You can sleep with your cousin according to the Bible. Even that is a bit close to home. All right? You might get a bit of a judge looking at your auntie or your uncle and they're looking at you like, well, what are you doing? It's your cousin. But that's biblical. Because Joseph, because Joshua, sorry. What Joshua? What am I talking about? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob and Isaac. Maybe even Abraham. They all took cousins. They all took their, their uncle's child. That's right. Understand? Mm. They're just keeping the tribes, isn't it? So that's, that's obviously right. going to be close. How about forgive them? Well, look, they ask the most likely to forgive you for your sins, isn't it? They can repent, but they got to stop sleeping with each other. That's what it is. not to be that They can repent. They can stop. They got to stop sleeping with each other. You know what yeah, I mean? That's a wickedness in this world. When you go, when you read more of that chapter, he got his brother got so mad, he killed him off. Man. That's right. That's right. And then spirit started coming upon the Israelites. That's right. That was Dan. That was David's son. David's sons and daughters. That was David's sons and daughters. Yeah, Tamar was son. David. Tamar was David's daughter. All right. And Amnon. And Amnon is his son. Absalom killed his son, yeah, yeah. son. Absalom ends up killing his brother. That's right. Absalom shared the same mother as Tamar. But Ammon didn't share the same mother. Yeah, well, sister, we're gonna Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, and now I'm going to pass on to Nick Barber's secrets. Quam Yashwala! Quam Yashwala!